hello everyone in this video I'm going to tell you the difference between parametric and non parametric method in machine learning so first of all we are going to see what are parametric method so in these methods we actually assume some distribution uh, like if we are given some classification problem so what we do we assume that our class is following some distribution and then we try to find out the parameter for those distribution and in case if we are given some regression problem uh, in that case uh, we assume that the given data and the target value is following some model and then we try to find out the parameter for the model so uh, here actually we make some assumption so let me take uh, this kind of problem to further explain these methods so in classification we actually assume that data is coming from some distribution so here let me take a very simple example to explain what is distribution so uh, let's say uh, there is a milk packaging plant and the machine uh, which are uh, packing milk in one kg packet those machines are not uh, uh, of high precision so there are some error so uh, after packing those packets though uh, there is one more machine which actually check their weight and track this record so let's say we are having this data okay so uh, this is a very huge data set and we are considering only a few data sample so this is actually a sample okay so uh, if in this sample we try to compute the probability of each data so what will be the probability of 1001 it will be how many number of times this uh, item actually appear in this set and divided by total number of data points so in this case it will be 1 upon 6 okay so this is a very simple example in this case we have taken a very small sample just consider uh, a huge sample and in that same sample we have computed the probability of each data point and when you plot this probability in this manner let's say 1001 so if you plot probability for each data points so this curve this curve we can say this is the probability curve this curve is going to follow some function obviously this is a curve so there will be a function and that function actually we assume as a distribution so distribution is actually that how the probability is distributed among these data points okay so this is actually this is the distribution now in parametric method in classification we assume that our class is following some distribution and most of the time we assume normal distribution so I am uh, going to take a few seconds why we assume this normal distribution wherever you study machine learning you will find this distribution a number of times so the reason is that this distribution actually resemble a lot of human phenomena uh, phenomena so for example if we take a data of uh, the height of a student in a class and if we plot the probability of that data it will be a normal so, similarly if we try to collect a data for salary of people in a particular town and if we plot the probability for that data it will be a normal so that's why uh, maximum time people assume normal distribution so uh, in normal distribution we need to know mu and sigma okay so every distribution is defined by a finite number of parameters so in case of normal we need two parameters so once we know these two parameters we can compute probability of any data point for example if this is the sample is given to us and if we try to find out what is the probability of 
7. So what we can do, we can assume that this one is following normal distribution. We can compute the mean, which is average. This is the standard deviation. So we can compute these two from the sample. And in order to find out the probability of this one, we can use the formula which is used for normal distribution. Okay. So uh, here in parametric method, once we know these values, we don't need the sample or we don't need the data given to us. Okay. So let's take a real life example. If we are given a multi-dimensional data, and this data set is having one thousand uh, records. So we assume that this one is following some distribution. We find out the parameters. Now, if we want to find out what is the class for incoming uh, for future data, so we can use just these parameters and we can easily find out the class for that data. So this data set is not required any more. Okay, so this is the one point. Once the parameters are known, we don't need that data set any. Uh, we don't need that data set. So these data set no need to be stored in memory. Okay, this is the first point. And second point is that these parameters are actually computed from the entire data set. So in case of this 1000 record, uh, these parameters are computed using all the data points. So this is actually known as global method okay so the this is actually the parametric method now let's see what is known parametric method so in known parametric method we don't assume uh, that data is following some distribution or data is coming from some model so now the thing is that if we are not assuming those assumptions how we are going to find out what is the class for incoming data or what is the target value for incoming input so how we are going to solve these two problem so in non parametric method the core concept is used is it says that similar input have similar So in case uh, of classification, if we are given some data and uh, we are asked to find out class for a new data point. So what we will do, What first we will check what are the inputs which are similar to this one. Okay, so let's say these are the three data points which are similar to this one, and then we will see what are the classes for these three. So let's say these are the classes A, A, B. So we will uh, consider that the class for this A also will uh, this data also will be A. So similar input will be having similar output. Okay. So uh, the thing is that. For a data point, in order to find out the class, we only considering the points which are near to this one. Okay, so we are considering only the nearest neighbors. So we can say this method is a local method. Okay, so known parametric method they don't consider entire data set. Okay, they only consider the points which are nearest to the data point where we want to find out the class or where we find, want to find out the target value. So this is considered as a local method. Now second thing is that if we are given some data set our uh, program is actually following the known parametric method and our program is going to uh, classify incoming, incoming data points. So we are not sure which data point will be given to us it can be any data point so what we have to do we have to keep the 
data set in memory all the time okay so whenever a data point will come we will check which data points are nearest to that data point and then we will check their nearest neighbors classes and then we will make our final decision so all the time these data set has to be in memory so uh, so known parametric method actually require a lot of computation plus a lot of memory and this we also call a lazy learning method okay so uh, these are the two main differences known parametric is a global method whereas parametric is a local method and in parametric method once we learn the parameter we don't need the data set anymore but here we need these data set all the time thank you very much for watching